boom. This is, I'm gonna try to prop it up. This is day 21 of 100 Days of Theology. This time, we're talking about Kierkegaard. Kierkegaard was a Danish philosopher slash theologian. He's understood as starting the existentialism mode of thinking in philosophy. But he has this fantastic book um, that when I first read it, it kind of blew my mind. Mm, it's this, Purity of Heart is the Will One Thing. So if you understand the title, then you get the book. But if you read the book, you'll really understand the title. Now, he says, uh, purity of heart is to love one thing at a time. He says a lot of us go through life uh, loving multiple things rather than just one thing. And so that's that causes a split of heart, a split of soul, a split of motives. And then he goes on to say we can actually only love one thing ever. And he says that's the good. And so you shouldn't try to love particular things other than just just love the good. Just love the good at all times and make sure you do as much as you can to love the good for the right reasons. Because then he goes into a little bit more. He says some of us don't actually love the good. What we love is rewards for doing the good. Or some of us, we don't really love the good. What we love is avoiding punishment for doing bad. And then he goes on to a few other formulations, but really the gist is you can only love one thing at a time. And the one thing that you should love with all of your heart is the good with a capital G. He's a philosopher. So of course he thinks about the good as like an ultimate uh, concern. So Kierkegaard, it was kind of an ethicist at this point when he was writing this book. Uh, it's very profound. I think it's fantastic. But I would encourage you to think about how do you love the good in your life? Do you do it well? Do you actually love the good because it's the good? Or do you love the good because of some secondary consequences or rewards? Or because you could have a good reputation for loving the good? Or do you just love the good? Are you willing to suffer for the good? So... This is one of those instances where theology and philosophy kind of overlap because Kierkegaard would then go one step further than a philosopher might and say that the ultimate good with a capital G is Yahweh. That at all times and in all places, make sure you love the ultimate good so that all of your life can be anchored on the right things. So this was day 21 of 100 Days of Theology, Kierkegaard and Purity of Heart. Should we call it that? Maybe. We'll see. Have a good one.